call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Fluid here bringing the final episode of Road to Mox. This is episode 10 and this is going to be an extra special long episode. So as you can see I'm on 289k. Basically all I need is about 60 to 70k and then I'm pretty much done. I can afford him. And then as you can see in the trade pile, Borussia still hasn't sold so I'm going to re... Uh, I'm going to relist him, I guess you could say. Uh, relist him for 12 hours. Actually, I'll relist him for a day. Super sells for that. He should go for 19k. That's what he sold for before in the past. So, moving on to the deals from the last episode. Odin Wingy in the 442 formation sold for 20,750. I believe I bought him for like 14k, so that was really good. He actually sold him on for 22,500. So, uh, unfortunate by me, but I just wanted to get, get the coins and get out of there. Uh, Cruz, I sold in the end for 23k. Yeah, he hasn't been resold, so not too bad right there. 23k, I believe I bought him for like 16k, and I'm sorry for that noise right there. Uh, next player is Inform Bazzini. I got him in a 442, I don't know why he switched to a 352, but he sold him the end for 33k. I believe he's the only one in the market on a 442 when I sold him. Next player is Doombeard, the player which I spent most of my coins on. I had to lower the price of him to about 70k. I bought him for 57k I do believe, so really good profit off him, I think that was the most profit I made in the last episode. Next player was Michael Carrick in a 433, I sold him for 23,750, yeah he hasn't been resold so not too bad there, uh, some decent profit right there. Next player was Michelle Vorm, I sold for 20k, possibly could have got more, actually he hasn't been resold, I think his price is like varying so much recently, uh, because he is a sought after player but right now he's not playing as well as he has been so he's not going for as much as he was going for and the next player which I bought was I sold even was Inform Rolando I sold him for 14,250 I believe I had to lower him from 15k so uh, really unfortunate there I could have got some more coins Inform sold auto sold for 18,500 not entirely sure what I bought him for and Inform Johnson sold for 48k I believe I bought him for 40k so that was about 6k profit I believe some guy was telling me on my video Next player was Brian Ruiz, sold in a 4-1-2-1-2 for 18,500. And the final player which sold was Protropia, uh, who sold 14k. And that is pretty much it for the first part of the video. I do hope you've enjoyed it so far, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright lads, I'm back. So straight ahead to the trade pile, I'm on 3k, well 2,985 coins. First player I bought was Aramenko, and I believe there's like four of them on the market. I've got this guy for 13,750. I've seen him sell before for like 23k, so really good profit there, around about 10k, but minus CA tax, which I do try to mention to you guys. I don't know if I said it in the first part of the video or previous episodes, but I do try to mention it. I'm actually going to put this guy up for 12 hours because he should sell overnight, and that's pretty much it for him. Moving on to the next player, it is Douglas. I've actually Bought him before for around about 12k, sold him on for 20k before, but his price has dropped a bit to around about 18k, so I'm going to try and sell mine for 18k. Uh, decent profits, around about 4k profit, a bit less of that of course. And I would, took a risk here with Route Ledge, got him in a 4 one 2 2 in a right mid. He's in the team of the week as right wing, so he's been converted into a right mid. Uh, maybe even converted into a 4 one 2 2 I don't know. But the cheapest on the market is 32k, so I'm going to try and sell mine for 32k as well. He should sell for that, I'm hoping anyway. Hopefully he doesn't drop in price and I make a loss on him. If all these players do sell, I should be on around about 340k. So that could buy the right winger or I could buy the right uh, right mid, I'm not too sure on it. The next player is Park in a 4-1-2-1-2. Another 14,500. I should be able to sell him on for 17,500, so it's minimum profit there, but still pretty decent. Uh, this CSA, I actually got a buy now of 15,500 in the 57th minute. I was just randomly searching for him and I found him for this, so I thought may as well take it. I'm going to try and sell him on for 19k, so decent profit there as well. This Lasso Cotto I actually might make a loss on. I got him for 25,250, which was good at the time, I believe it was like 1am. So I'm going to try and sell him on for 28k and I won't make a loss, so uh, decent profit there. Well, I'm hoping I don't make a loss. Uh, Dennis in a 4 one 2 2 got him for 22k. This was actually in the video I did, uh, not yesterday, on Thursday, so I hope you watched that. Link's going to be in the description. If you didn't actually watch the video, I'm going to relist him for 25k, and you should sell for that, as I said in the video last time. 
Next player is Tim Howard, team of the week again, gone for 21,250. I believe the cheapest on the market is 25k, so I'm going to stick mine up for 25k. He's actually got a lot of, oh, he doesn't have a lot of contracts, he's got seven contracts on him, my bad there. Uh, yeah, but mine should be sold because it's mine, hopefully. Uh, 25k for him. And we're moving on to the next page player, so, boom. Where most of my coins went, 109k I spent on Inform Falcal, the 89 version of 4122. And this is a great deal here, actually, insane deal. I, the cheapest on the market at the moment is 129k by now, so I'm going to stick mine on it. And because mine has 86 contracts, he's probably going to be bought first. That's what I'm hoping for, and that is just going to be insane if he sells. Next player is Zigic in a 433, got him for 12,250. I know I can sell him on for 14 to 15k, so I'm going to stick him on up for 14,500. He should sell for that. And the final player of the trading is Gutierrez, got him in a 4222, and I got him for 16,250. He normally goes for around about 20k, so I'm going to stick him on up for 20,500, 20,750 by now. And he should sell for that. So I will see you guys in the final part of the video, which is actually going to be me buying the info box. And I will see you guys then. All right, lads, I am back for the final time in this series because now I actually have enough coins to buy info box. So 314k, I've actually see him right here for 313k by now, and I am going to buy it right there. Boom! Oh, everything I've just bought him, absolutely amazing. So. There he is guys, I paid 313k for him, that's actually a pretty decent deal right there. I think I can sell him up for like 320k, so I'm still making profit, but I'm not going to sell him, just because he's an absolute beast. I also sold this one for 319k, but I didn't have enough money for him. So I'm going to go into the trade pile and uh, run you through what's sold. And basically what I want to ask you guys is, have you enjoyed the series? And there is going to be a potential new series where I go and make an informed team like an informed premiership team so if you guys have any suggestions for names or certain players that you want in the team I'm thinking inform Ben Arthur and I can switch into a 3-4-3 with inform Ox at right mid and then Ben Arthur's right wing yeah just leave in the suggestions and the top rated comment will get the will be the next player which I go for in the team so Douglas up for 18k in a 3-5-2 decent profit there I think I bought him for like 12k Sinclair I actually bought this guy, I can't even remember what I paid for him, I think it was like 24k, but I sold him in the end for 29,500, really good deal there. Uh, okay, and Inform Cissé sold for 18,500, I think I had to lower the price for him, which is unfortunate, but I bought him for 15k, so it didn't really matter. And now I have Inform Ox, I am absolutely buzzing guys, I'm so happy, and I hope you enjoyed this long episode as well. Info Masu Kato 41212 sold for 28,500. Possibly could have got more out, let's say he's been resold. No, he hasn't been resold, so I got as much as I was going to get out of him. Info Dennis sold for 25k in 41212. Hasn't been resold either. And here we go, Tim Howard. 25k sold for 4312. Decent deal there. It was a bit of a risk because he is in the team of the week. And the big the big buy, big sell, so for 129k, I paid 109k for him, so really, really good profit there. Uh, next player is Inform Zigic, going back down to the smaller profit, sold him for 14,500. Inform Borussia finally sold for 19k, it's actually being price fixed at like 50k now, but I don't think that price fix is working. And the final player, Gutierrez, sold for 20,750, and I've still got these two players to sell. I could just discard them and get some more coins back, but I'm going to wait for them to sell. Um, hopefully use their coins to get the next player in the episode so thank you all for watching the series i do hope you leave a like on it do hope you enjoyed the series as well and i've been a fluda and thanks for watching